What is going on guys? I'm back here. This has been a long time since I've done a video like this, but uh, there's a few cards in the game that have been added, uh, like obviously this RCF and the 370Z. I want to go ahead and do a video about the 370Z because if many of you guys know, I have a weird obsession of making track 370Zs, and I saw what you can do to this car. Uh, like this just kind of a little sneak peek as many of you guys can see now this thing can be freaking nuts so let's go ahead just uh oh the sides do stay i don't know what color i want this let's go just bright red for right now like i said it's been such a long time since i've done a video like this and this thing came out and I'm like I need to do a video on this and the let's see the Super B came out obviously the RCF came out uh, I got a funny story about the RCF or at least the you know base model of it so let's go ahead and check this thing out 6.2 liter V8 uh, so LS RB not sure what the 7.2 is from uh, and then we got our VR38, 2J, or I, I keep forgetting if that's the 2J or the BMW engine. Uh, let's see what we can do to it. So, this is what I like about this car. So, if you guys don't know about the cracked out trend with the freaking superchargers, you just you need to look it up because it's freaking nutty. So, it's oh, so we got our old Nismo, new Nismo, Vars. And then the Forza. The Forza Aero doesn't look too bad on this car, but I think that's just the colors kind of going together. Uh, so obviously we're going to go with Vars. Uh, does this thing not have the wide body kit? Is it all in the... That's weird. That's very weird. Alright, so obviously we're going to go with the Vars Swing. I don't know what kind of booty I want to do to it. The Vars booty looks kind of good, but... I don't know. I think we'll keep the stock booty for right now. Uh, and we'll do the Vars side. What's the, okay, and then it's just the Vars hood. Does it really do anything for me? No? Okay. And then obviously, as you guys know, my weird obsession with them, I, I, I gotta do it. Where are they? I know they're here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> like I said, many of you guys know my weird obsession with these cars and building them for race purposes. Wait, hold on. 295s. What up? 265. Okay. I was about to say, from that angle, it looked like uh, the ones in the rear were a little bit wider. So we're going to put some. Where is it? So that, put that. Obviously, extendo. Oh my god, this thing sounds nutty. What size wheels are on these? Oh, we can open the 20s. Uh, I, I think I'm good on that. And then we got all these different race transmissions. We'll do race diff. Alright, fun part. Putting big old brakes. Suspension on it. Sway bars. Big old cage. Lighten it up. Now here's the part I'm a little bit worried about is definitely seeing how much power I'm gonna make with it. Because obviously this is a uh, a like track setup. So I don't want to go too extremely nut uh, crazy with it. Uh Usually what controls it is sound, honestly. Is 
So that just adds more backfire. Honestly, we might just cut the exhaust. And we might just keep the stock supercharger for right now. sure I got all this stuff so let's see so we're making some so we can make 820 horsepower with this thing honestly that trade-off for horsepower though ain't bad we'll just do a stage two for right now or like a phase two and let's go run this thing around a bit we might even throw this down in the Le Mans race. Or we can send it up the mountain. As many of you guys know, that has kind of been my testing ground. This thing sounds insane. It, okay, this setup in real life would be absolutely insane. I just want to say that now. A supercharged with TEs with a half of our skit. So far, it's handling pretty well. Oh, we're going off road. Oh. Alright, so I'm actually going to challenge this thing. We're just going to freaking shove this thing right up the mountain. We're just going to full freaking send it. Actually, before I full send it, let's just go ahead and play with this a little bit. Give it a little bit more cornering. Uh, we'll drop that, give it a little more grip. Base tune shouldn't be too bad. Also, forgot. Let's just go ahead and slam it. Oh, all these guys are out here in their drift cars. And yeah, I look like I'm in a drift car, but I'm about to track this thing up the mountain. Oh, the sucker spins a lot. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have messed with the gearing, because now this thing really wants to spin. This thing really wants to get away from me. I don't like it. I'm definitely going to have to tune it more for speed. This thing is just wanting to twerk itself crazy. Maybe that acceleration we were sitting at wasn't too bad. I could bump it back down a little bit more. Honestly, if only having to play with a final gear with this car to just get a nice, decent not spinning off the line car that would honestly be amazing or just not really spinny at all whoa like like I'm full throttle right now in fourth so fourth seems like it needs more acceleration on the top end but the lower gears seem like they need less acceleration so they don't spin. I 
And honestly, this probably might be my only run with it. Unless I do another Le Mans race with it. Because, I mean, going down the mountain is a whole lot different than going up it. Because obviously you're fighting a lot more stuff going up the mountain. Compared to, like, if you're going down the mountain, you're easing more into Or, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, you're getting kind of pushed more instead of... Well, okay. Going down the mountain is like you're getting pulled. Like, obviously, when you're going down, you're going to have a little more momentum, stuff like that. But if you're going up the mountain, you're going to basically have to push through it. Honestly, this thing, for how high in the speed I am, is pretty good. It's just... When I tap the throttle, it's the only issue. So I think to combat that, I'm going to do this. Isn't it? Is it here? Stock? We'll do it here. Yeah, it was still a lot. Hold on. Let's see. Let's try doing this. And then. Whoa! Still spinny in third. Yeah, third seems to have a little too much uh, torque in the lower range. So I think that can honestly probably be fixed with that. Now we're going back down the mountain. I know I just said we're probably not going to go back down the mountain, but honestly, I want to figure this thing out. I about did it, and that was even with us going down, so that's with like extra momentum. It really didn't spin, but now fourth is wanting to spin. I'm just want to say right now, what well, we've been between 120 and one, well I guess 150 now, and this thing is just taking the corners like a champ. Yeah, it's still wanting to spin a little too much though. See, my only issue is, if I want to get quick and snappy out of a corner, I can't do it in third, because I'll start to spin. So, if I want to, I would have to upshift to fourth, which is kind of a no bueno. Because look, as soon as I got right in the fourth, insta-grip. Took that a little too wide. Ah, uh, crap. And then I'm in third, so I just started to spin. Dang, man. I really want this car to work. Maybe... And then we'll do this. Mm -hmm. 
it's still just I right, watch oh well never mind it's fixed itself oh never mind it's back to it Come on. It's just way too much. So I think I need to do that. And maybe that will fix it. Okay, so it seems like the only issue is second to third. But other than that... Pretty good car, I ain't gonna lie. I like I like driving it. I enjoy it. 